Bonjour, bonjour, Shopify world. My name is Andrew from EcomExperts.io, and in this video, we are going to review Loyalty Lion, who is a huge player in the loyalty app types on the Shopify platform. So by the end of this video, you are going to fully understand whether or not this app is good for you. We're gonna go over all of these things right here with the timestamps down below, and let's just jump straight into it. Okay, first we're going to look at the integration. Actually, that's not entirely sweet. First, we're gonna address the color of my tie, which is green and horrible because that's what we do when we talk about Shopify. We have the horrible green tie on. Okay, so now we're going to look at integrations. It's super important that the app you choose integrates nicely with other apps. You don't wanna be manually transferring over information all the time. You wanna make sure it's smooth. So what does it integrate with? I will actually have to look at my cheat sheet on this one because there's so many of them. So here's the full list. Conversio, Dot Digital, FIFO, Gorgeous that we reviewed, HubSpot, Judge.me that we reviewed, Clavio, LimeSpot, Luke's that we reviewed, Okendo that we reviewed, Oracle, Bonto, Recharge, Stamps that we reviewed, Trustpilot, and Zendesk. So those are all the integrations and that's quite a list. Okay, and what about pricing? Now this isn't necessarily the cheapest app, but that's not a bad thing at all. You see, there's four pricing tiers that I'll overlay here. The biggest difference is the number of orders that you're going to need. So the more orders you get, the more expensive it's going to get. With the free one, you can have some little add-ons at $5. Okay, still there? Good, because now we're going to talk about the competitors. For competitors, we have Smile.io, which we reviewed a long time ago. We have Swell, we have Bold, we have GrowWave, we have Rise.ai, and we have Marshmallow. No, that's not. It's Marcel. It, yeah, that's the one. Okay, and the last thing we're going to talk about in the facts corner is the reviews. It has a 4.5 out of 5 star rating out of something like 292 reviews of the time of recording. This is what the breakdown looks like and I'll overlay some 1 star reviews so you kind of have an idea of what that looks like as well. We do this with every app. The app is installed and we are greeted with this lovely, lovely pop-up. Um, and we are actually offered a step-by-step -step guide. But before you are ready to launch your loyalty program, you will need to finish these six steps. I mean, it's pretty straightforward. So let's walk you through it. The first one is the design of your program. In this step, you should give your program a name, choose your team colors, customize the widget, and choose a position of the widget button. Not too complicated. By the way, if you could subscribe to our channel, I make it my mission to transfer everything I know about Shopify to you, my viewers. But anyway, on the next step, you should decide when your customers will earn points and how many points each action is worth. So in case you wonder, this is where you do that. And then on the third step, these points start to make sense since here you will create your discount vouchers. Basically, how do customers redeem their points at this point? Lol. Uh, one last step before our big launch of the loyalty program preview. The loyalty lion allows you to preview your program before going live, so you can tweak it until it's perfect, which is pretty smart. It looks good enough, so we can definitely publish it. Uh, loyalty lion uses the existing customer information from your Shopify store, so you don't need to create a separate account or database, and that's really cool. However, if you currently have accounts disabled in your store, you will need to enable it, meaning that people will need to log in in order to do their uh, checkout, which, all right, we are only left with accepting terms and condition, and we can check the dashboard. The dashboard looks good, something you would expect to see from uh, the app of this rank. So something we didn't see in the start guide is referrals, though, you know, I can tell my friend like, hey, go and buy this product and then I get some points. Can you actually do that? And the answer is yes. By incentivizing referrals, you can actually acquire more customers and increase sales. So the process is relatively easy. You click on this button and choose which actions you want to reward. Um, there is a really big list of actions. And if you choose this option, you can create a custom rule. 
We left emails for the very end. Uh, Loyalty Line provides you with emails that are sent out to your customers automatically to make sure they know exactly how many points and rewards are available to them. Each email is personalized to an individual customer and the types of emails that you can send out are the welcome email, the reward email, the monthly reward email, points expiring soon. Oh, that's interesting. I actually didn't know you, can you do this? Is this legal in Canada? You know what? Comment below if you think that you can do that in your area. I know, I feel like some areas you're not allowed to do this. Email design is quite simple, nothing fancy, but you can customize it pretty easily. If you have coding knowledge, it is possible to create your own template. So let's send a test email and see how it works. And ta-da, here's the email and that's it. It looks pretty good. Okay, so we all know that mobile is very important. Um, let me pull out my mobile right here. Guess what logo it has on it? It has the Shopify logo. And let's pull it up right here. We need to make sure that this app is performing well on mobile because you know, a lot of people use mobile these days. So we are on the demo shop and here is the button. It's working really good and really fast. Good job, loyalty line. Okay, performance is a huge thing when it comes to Shopify stores. You wanna make sure you have a fast store. So does this app affect your store performance? The easiest way to go see it is to go to testmystorespeed.com and we're gonna go see that in just a minute if it affects it. It is time for the speed test. So let's analyze all the pages with our own tool, testmystorespeed.com. You can check it out, it's completely free and dumb me isn't even asking for an email address for you to check the report. So you should you should really check it. Um, we are already analyzed this store before the app was added. So we can compare the before and after in the history section right here. And oh, this app will affect your speed. So the page size went up for around 30 kilobytes on both mobile and desktop and the page load time went up and we have an additional 22 new requests on desktop and nine on mobile. I mean, this is not a deal breaker if this app is right for you, but if it's not and you're just trying it out, <laughs> be mindful that this app does impact it. Okay, so a lot of people ask me, Andrew, what's your opinion about these apps? Loyalty programs like Loyalty Line are actually really, really good to have because they incentivize existing customers to buy. Now, this is the number one mistake. Yeah, or a, a, a huge mistake that I see tons of store owners making is why don't you resell to your existing customers. You have someone that already gave you money. You have someone that you delivered a product to and they know you're legit, they trust you. Why don't you resell to them? Why don't you re-advertise them? Why don't you more aggressively try to get them back in, sell them something else? I don't care, Andrew, I just sell shoes. I can't sell another pair. Sure you can. I'm telling you, you can, I've did it. So that is where apps like Loyalty Line comes in. now. Loyalty line by itself, it really depends whether you're going for that or Smile or Bold app or any of the other competitors that we mentioned. You really have to look in what the features are and if it's right for you. That's why I made this app review. But as a general rule, I wouldn't say that loyalty apps are the most important thing on a store because they're not, but they're definitely relatively important. They're like in tier two or tier three of importance uh, of types of apps you need to have out of the simple idea that you need, absolutely need to retarget your existing customers. And the loyalty point system is the ideal way to do that. Most of the apps will make changes to your liquid code and when you uninstall them, the code won't necessarily go away. Loyalty Lion is one of them. So in case you install Loyalty Lion and it didn't work out for you, make sure that you remove the code residual from your team code as well. Let me show you how to do that. First, uninstall the app from the Shopify admin as you would normally do, and now we need to jump to the theme code. Okay, this is where it's very important that you follow this line by line. Click on online store and choose themes. We would not only recommend, we would urge you to make a duplicate of the team you're going to be working on, just so you have a backup. We had a YouTube viewer that didn't do this. They got into a mess because of it. Just back it up. If you back it up, there is absolutely nothing to be worried about. So we're gonna back it up by clicking right here on actions and from the drop down menu, you choose duplicates. 
once the duplicate is made, you are safe. You have your backup. So click on actions again, but this time choose edit code because we're going to go in the code. Okay, welcome to my home base. This is the team editor. And now we should search for team.liquid. We'll keep this rather simple. So just um, within the team.liquid on your left here, click on it, open it up. And then within this file, find anything that has to do with loyalty lines. So the easiest way to do that is command F on a Mac, control F on a Windows, type in, let's say, Lion or something like that. And here you find, there you go, include loyalty lion. Highlight and remove that part and click on save. And there you go, loyalty lion is removed from your store. Thank you very much for watching this app true, watching this app true. My name is Andrew from ecomexperts.io. Make sure to test your store speed. Make sure to like and subscribe and check out the other types of videos where I'm not wearing this green tie. And I'll see you in another video. Ciao, bye.